So welcome back to Blake's Den. This is my 1965 Ford 3000 tractor. And in this video, I'm hopefully going to get it running. Uh, I'm actually filming this over a couple of days. Today's a nicer day, but I haven't got long. So I'm going to quickly blitz some stuff today and then do the main work tomorrow. Uh, for those who don't know, this has been sitting for about 10 years plus, not being used. In the last video I swapped the wheel over, the wheel was just the rim, it's now got uh, a tyre on. All the tyres have stayed up with air, other than the one over here which lasts about an hour. So um, yeah, what I wanted to do today, I wanted to clean this. Um, I was going to power wash it all, but I decided no I'll do that after it's running. But there's still like quite a lot of debris and dirt and well yeah. Plenty of other words for it. Uh, I need to uh, clean off first, so I'm going to quickly blitz that now. So that's blasted some of the debris out, particularly in the battery box. And now I'm going to hit it with a hose. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, I'm not going for immaculate, I'm just going for better and less poisonous with uh, sort of uh, who knows what living and lurking on it. Um, this will dry out, lovely sunny day, it'll be dry very soon. Um, while I've got the hose out, one of the jobs I need to do is the radiator hose down there was popped off and um, uh, to allow the system to drain so the block didn't freeze so I need to top up the radiator and probably put a new uh, Jubilee clip on there. So yep, that's the next job So I've got literally hundreds of uh, Jubilee clips Didn't have one the right size so I've uh, stuck two together um, And hopefully that'll do the job So we will uh, get this hose on here if it will go. Come on. It's quite awkward to get in from this angle. I may have to move the camera and bring you back in a second once it's on. Right, that's on and secure. And now I'm going to fill up the radiator with water. Just putting water in for now. Um, I have got antifreeze to go in but I've got no idea of the condition of this radiator at all. Uh, well, actually I've got a good idea of the condition of it. If you come around the front, it's not great. Um, so I'm just going to put water in and see what happens. It's all filled up with water now. Very mucky looking water, but there'll be a lot of scale and rust in there. So it actually probably makes sense to run water through first and then sort of flush all that out. Uh, while I'm in here as well, I also want to check that the engine turns, you know, just kind of important things. So I don't know if you can see, but the, the fan is connected to the water pump. And then there's a belt from that down to the crank of the engine. And yeah, I think I put you up here. The fan turns and I can see the crank turning at the bottom. So you probably can't see it, but I can see it. And so you'll just have to take my word for it. So at least I know the engine's not seized. Right, one more job to do tonight before coming back in the morning. So this is part of the air filter assembly. Here's the air filter here. And it's got this big ring which goes around. Well, that should go under there and be fitted on and that should be full of oil. Um, that didn't come with the tractor. So I actually bought that of eBay and I managed to get one with the same patina. So I was quite happy. Only about £15 or something. So I'm going to fill this full of oil. And what happens is the air comes in the top, goes through the oil, up through the middle and then to the engine. So yeah, and it shows you oil level, both cups. Yeah, basically fill it up, fill it up with oil. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, not sure what oil yet. It'll be the first bottle I grab when I go in the garage. Right, I use some Super Shell 2 Modern Multigrade, which is absolutely ancient, but hey, our oil's millions of years old, so it does make a difference. And there we are, the oil bath is full. 
So I'm going to put this on here, get this strap in the right position, and then fingers crossed when I tighten this up, it'll stay in position and I won't drop oil everywhere. Let's see if I can walk this round. No, I think that is it. Alright, let's see what happens now. Yeah, that's tightening up now. The actual filter is in the um in this canister here. And um, it's not actually like serviceable item, surprisingly. You can clean it and you can buy a new one, but um, the idea is the oil does all the work. So, yep, that's on there solid now. So I'm happy. And that's about all I can do tonight. So tomorrow we make some noise. Well, hold the phone. I thought I'd just quickly try something. So this is the biggest battery I've got. Not very big, and I can't get the positive terminal to stay on properly. So if I just wedge that in there, and I come round here, we have life. So we have the ignition light on, and we have that one which... Oil? I don't know. It's got plenty of oil in it. I'm tempted to see what happens when I crank it. Probably not a lot, because that terminal's not on. I'm just checking we are in neutral. Yeah, nothing at all when I crank it, as expected. So, hmm, charge this battery up, free off that connector, and let's have some fun tomorrow. Right, it's now the next day. Um, it's a really warm, muggy day. Um, and we do thunderstorms later, so I'm going to crack on with this. So first check, has the radiator lost any water overnight? No, that's still full. Good, good. Um, right, next job, use the old dentist drill to um, clean up these battery terminals because they are quite badly corroded. So give us every chance, every possible chance to start. I need those as clean as possible. So do that next. Right, battery's on, the green terminal, I had to cut the bolt off, the black terminal broke. I'm also getting very confused because that's positive but it's got an N on it and that is negative but it's got a P on it. Now tracing the wiring, the green wire goes all the way to the starter motor, the black wire goes to the body so that would suggest it's earth and it's negative earth. Or is it positive earth? I need to check the manual to find out. <laughs> but I think it is negative earth. Um, also, this battery, I think, is just giving up the ghost. I mean, when I turn the ignition on, nothing happens. It all, no lights at all. I put a jumper pack on and it was fine. Right, do a bit of research, then start it. The manual says negative earth, so that's what we're going to use. I also need to energize the field winding for the dynamo through the control box to ensure that it charges correctly so I've just got to flash that with a piece of wire which of course I can't get in because the battery's in the way maybe we'll ignore that for now and we'll not worry about the charging system and the final pre-flight check oil I did check this yesterday and it's actually over full but everything will have drained down from above so there'll be nothing up the top end at all. It's actually looking remarkably clean as well. So, oh, and yeah, we've got diesel in. It's old diesel, but there's diesel in the tank. Right, I'm going to pull the Land Rover around, use the jump leads off the Land Rover, then hopefully get this thing started and running. Well, I've got my uh, Land Rover Defender booster pack connected up. It's all good. So we've got ignition lights now. So, final task 
before turning the ignition a bit more take the cap off the intake put that down to one side we'll take the cap off the exhaust and get ready for it to go it's in neutral um, I'm gonna set the power a little bit about there I have actually checked I'll show you the the linkage for the power on the diesel pump is nice and free and also the stop which is that one works so I can shut it off if there's a problem I can um, start the engine of oxygen should it be any other problems and also I've got the hose pipe on hand should it catch fire so shall we see what happens so I'm actually going to jump up onto it I think in case it does decide to run me over but also as well I can put the clutch in so the clutch is in so we've got a bit of power set the ignition's on let's see what happens lots of sparks off the uh, jump leads but she did crank over so I'm going to reattach those jump leads and try again I have jiggled those jump leads a bit they're actually still on the battery so let's see what happens so it's turning over just very lazily it's like that battery's just not having it I have got another battery so let's go and try that right I've got my NOCO battery booster on and the jump leads so let's see what happens still got a bit of power set yeah it's running to go now is the stop in or I can't remember which way around the stop is whether you push it in to stop or pull it out let's try out give it a rest let's try pushing it in I think it's in to go a little bit more power one in the go it's smoking right I'm going to give that a rest for a second let the battery recover and it's on the rain so let's hope this rain doesn't last too long yeah it's one in a go it's just not quite going so I'm going to do the thing you shouldn't do and try a bit of brake cleaner down the intake right one last try with a very small battery it's been a mini but I know it's quite a good battery again jump leads on that's running better it wants to go oh exciting right bit of brake cleaner down the intake And we'll see if that makes it pop off. Whoa! It's alive! It's alive! Very noisy! But alive! I'm going to quickly check some of the systems on it if you can hear me. So let's lift the lift arms. Yeah, that's working fine. I'll see if the PTO will engage as well. I'll leave you there. You watch that bit in the middle.
Yeah, that works too. Great. Um, I'll have to see if this moves, which means pumping up the tyre. So I'm going to let it run for a bit, and then I need to swap the battery in this camera. And uh, yeah, we'll give it a we'll give it a quick spin. It's starting to rain. The camera is shaking around like mad. And I've got a tyre going flat. So let's see if it drives. First, I think. Yeah. I'm trying to find reverse. That's what was over here. I think we didn't want to go into reverse. Why is that? There we are. A few more revs. You're shaking around so much. Okay, I don't appear to have any steering at the moment, which is, could be interesting. Is it just so heavy, the steering? Very heavy steering. But it runs. That's poor job, low range, low skier, nice crawler speed. Well, it's starting to rain quite heavy now. I'm hoping you can hear me. But yeah, it runs. It goes forwards, it goes backwards. Uh, it's not charging because I haven't flashed the uh, control box. Brakes are, well, brakes are a bit missing in action at the moment, so they need looking at. And obviously this tyre still needs looking at because it's going down. But other than that, it works great. So let me turn it off. This would be a good test to see how good it is. That's better. Right. I have a working, in speech marks, tractor. So thank you for watching. Uh, rain is going to stop play today on this one. I'm really pleased it works and runs. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for more videos. There'll definitely be more videos of this on the channel, putting it to use. Uh, I've still got wheel studs to replace. I've got that tire to sort out. I've got the brakes to sort out and the steering, which is incredibly heavy. And I thought it was supposed to be power assisted, but isn't. So yeah, need to get that done. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please press like, please comment on the video and please subscribe to the channel for more updates. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.